What happened now when you pray, when you open your heart to God? What's said it? Notice any difference? The teachings of the Word of God are, are alive, or the Holy Spirit is alive, is active. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! From last night, when I was living down there, I just felt such a huge power. God hit my belly as He was ministering, sharing, you know. How we, sh how we should receive it. You know, we say you should just relax everything. Else, your heart, your mind, relax and just, you just think of the love of God. So I've got that hating right in my spirit. Then you know, just right from here, I felt I was going to meet this man first day in the morning. And I want to believe it was the Holy Spirit ministering. So, it, it, it was so powerful, like I said last night. I got remembered as I was kneeling down there. I got reminded of the year 2009 when I received the Lord. And, you know, such an experience. So this morning I went and met the man of God. <laughs> yes, it's, it's simple, but you need to put it in practice. Hallelujah. It has to be an ongoing life thing. It has to be an ongoing life thing that you talk to God, tell Him of His love. You know, just imagine Him touching you. He says in His word that I have put you behind, I am before you, and I lay my hands upon your head. You know, just imagine Him laying His hand upon your head. And then, you know, just, just, just loving him, just loving him. You know, I got so carried away this morning that, you know, I could escape that, that, that to swing and that mood of, 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 of the Holy Spirit. It doesn't so much in my spirit this morning. I just could hear three words in my heart. so excited. I'm still so excited. And you know, I got so filled. I got so filled. I got so filled. Because I asked the man of God, I want to experience this, the John 4, 23, that we should worship God in spirit and truth. You know, it was just so simple that I imagined and I said to God, ah, and you know, he started bubbling in my spirit. <laughs> you know, he just started bubbling in my spirit. You know, he just started in and you know, there just a song coming out of my spirit. And as the man of God says, it has to be a day-to-day -day experience. And I go to home and around 3 p.m. this afternoon, I sat down again and said, God, he am in my house now. I want there's that experience again. So I just, you know, thank God, God, I thank you because you love me. I thank you, God, because you are blessing me now. I thank you, God, because of your presence. You know, I said, I love you, God. Hallelujah. I said, Hallelujah. You know, I said, you know, I just got this experience. First time I was in my house this afternoon, I felt like someone was behind me, you know, telling me this way, telling me this other way. That, that is how my, my, my body was, my, my this were moving as if someone was telling me this way, telling me this way. I experienced it right in my house this afternoon at 3 p.m. Just took 30 minutes and then just now I'm going. He loved me back. 